Dreallday.com Dre Baldwin, DreAllDay.com. Let me explain to y'all what's going on right now. It's Friday afternoon, June 6, 12.41 p.m. NBA Finals started last night. Everybody already knows what happened. I don't have to tell the story all over again. Y'all saw the game. If you watching this, you saw the game. The LeBron James slander is fucking ridiculous right now. And by the time you watch this, it's going to be Saturday, late afternoon, evening. I don't know what's going to happen between now and then. <laughs> the game ain't until Sunday. I just recorded a video discussing the LeBron James situation, the leg cramps, whether he could have played, whether he couldn't have played, et cetera, et cetera. I just made a video about that, so I'm not going to waste time in this video talking about that, but just to let y'all know, just in case anybody ends up asking, when you see this video, the LeBron James slander video that I'm going to put out, not, I'm not slandering him. I've been on Twitter defending the man for the last 12 hours. The video I put out talking about leg cramps and how they can affect an athletic basketball player, something that I can speak on with first-person experience. The video will have been out for about 24 hours by the time you see this, a little bit less than 24 hours. So it's already out. Just look on my channel. It's there already. With that said, let's get into what we do every Friday, because the show must go on. The Q&A video. This is Q&A number 22. For those of you who don't know how this works, you leave, I am responding to all the comments from Q&A 21. If you have a question, it doesn't matter what your question is, leave it in the comments to this video. I'll respond to it next week in Q&A 23. If you see a question or a comment left by someone else, do not respond to that question or comment because I'm going to have to delete you off my channel. I'm going to have to block you if you do that. All right, I said that many times, so don't be the next person that gets blocked. Just don't respond. I don't care what you think you know the answer is. This Q&A is question people ask me. I'm going to answer them. This is a pet peeve of mine. All right, so now you know. Let's get right into the questions without further ado. Elias Money 12 says, Dre, on your channel, I watched all your public speaking videos. I was wondering how you got into that. And he learned something new about Christopher Columbus. About He's talking about one of the public speaking videos that I posted. I actually posted the video on my other YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash Dre All Day. That's another channel that I have. I don't post that often there, but all my public speaking stuff, I post on that channel, so you can check that out. And you can also see the exact same video on my Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash work on your game. He's asking me, how did I get into the public speaking? I just got into it. I just started doing it. Someone told me about the group where I actually did that speech. It's called Toastmasters, and Toastmasters is a worldwide organization. Wherever you live, there's probably a Toastmasters meeting, especially if you're in the United States. They are all across the world, but definitely in the United States, there's a Toastmasters meeting probably within 30 minutes wherever you live. So that's where I actually did that speech. So that's how I got into it. Somebody told me about Toastmasters. I went and went to the meeting, and I joined, and I started giving speeches there. And now I'm going to get into giving speeches at public places, wherever somebody wants to bring me in to give a speech. We're working on that. That's coming. And actually, if you go back, Elias, to the actual first public speaking video I put out, which we call the icebreaker, when you basically introduce yourself to the group, I talked about how I actually got into it. So you can go watch that video, and you'll have your answer. Sat T Sal one says, when do I think it's necessary to tell a person to stop talking trash during the game? Do you ignore them so you don't respond to childish behavior? Do you say something? He's thinking about Lance LeBron. It's never necessary. You don't have to ever respond to what somebody else says. Somebody else says something to you, whether it's in basketball or anything else, there's nothing that's forcing you to respond to it. You choose to respond or you choose not to respond. Joe Moose says, am I still sticking to paleo, a paleo lifestyle of eating? That's in the diet and nutrition videos. If you haven't seen that, don't know what paleo means, you can watch the diet and nutrition playlist on my channel or you can go to my website and read about it which I wrote extensively and share a ton of links from experts on. I don't know, most of y'all don't like to read, so go watch the videos. And then he says, do I balance it with my regular diet or lifestyle? I haven't noticed any benefits. Sorry if I answered this question. Well, Joe, your question is kind of incorrect. That I don't have a regular diet or lifestyle. Paleo is a lifestyle. I don't do diets. Diet is a temporary thing. I don't diet. I decide the lifestyle I'm going to live by through the foods that I eat, and paleo is the lifestyle I've chosen. So, Yes, I am strictly sticking to paleo, which is meats, vegetables, and fruits. 
Try to stay away from refined sugars, stay away from packaged foods, stay away from fried foods, stay away from anything that doesn't fall into the category of those three things that I just said. Feel it, and he asked me, have I noticed any benefits? Yeah, I feel great. Well, I mean, I work out all the time. I take care of my body. I stretch, I foam roll all the time. I work out every day, I'm physically active. I drink a lot of water. I don't put anything bad in my body. I don't smoke, I don't drink, I get enough rest. So all of those things factor in, including food. Philip Wesley says, there's such thing as overtraining in basketball, should you give your muscle memory system time to rest? So there's such thing as overtraining in basketball? Absolutely, there's such thing as overtraining. Overtraining is not a, is not a hard measurement, as in, it's not like if you get 10 basketball players in a room and you say, all right, if you train for this long, you're overtraining. Each individual has their own limits. Each individual has their own thresholds for how much they can take on and at which point it starts to become retro, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It starts to become counterproductive, but it's not the same for everyone. So maybe I could train for five hours a day, but somebody else could do eight hours a day and they're fine. And five, six hours for me is too much, but eight hours for them is not enough. So it's different for each person. And that's just numbers I picked up randomly. So don't go think you need to work out eight hours a day. But yes, there is a such thing as overtraining in any sport, anything that has to do with the body. The body does need rest. I don't know if it's the muscle memory system. The muscle memory system is just the synapses in your brain, the way they fire. Those could use rest too. I mean, that's why we go to sleep every day, to rest our brains. So yes, you do need rest. Yes, there is a such thing as overtraining. But you can't tell another person how much is too much for them. They have to figure out what's too much for them themselves. You can only speak for yourself how much is too much. Chris Thomas says, how old was I when I got my first car? I was 18. Alec Aponte. Alec Aponte says, I don't even know what he's talking about. He's talking about ball handling drills, but it's kind of like he's responding, but I don't see who he's responding to. KD MVP Thunder says, I've been playing on a seven and a half foot goal, and then when I play on a 10 foot goal, I miss all my shots. Should I stop shooting on a seven and a half foot goal or just play through it? KD MVP Thunder. All right, so let's look at this question. Everybody, including KD MVP, says, I play on a seven foot goal, and then when I play on a 10 foot goal, I'm missing. So, should I stop playing on a seven foot goal or just play through it? Well, KD, what options do you have? You haven't said anything about actually having the option of practicing on a 10 foot goal. Because if you have that option, obviously, you already know you don't need to hear me tell you this. You should probably practice on that. And this person who asked the question is his name is written in, I believe this is Russian, and I can't read Russian, so I can't say his name. But his question is, Dre, do you use the jump manual? And if so, how much vert did you gain? Yes, I have used the jump manual, but the problem is I didn't measure my vertical at the beginning. I didn't measure it at the end, so I can't tell you that. But I can tell you that the jump manual does guarantee you'll gain 10 inches in 12 weeks or your money back. So I don't know how much more information people need. People keep asking me how much did I gain when you got a money back guarantee. You can't lose. So go do the program and find out how much you gain. That's DreAllDay.com slash jump if you're looking for that program. DreAllDay.com slash jump. And I'm pretty sure it's an annotation either here or here that you can link straight to it. EZiggy1000 says, I'm a pretty good driver and finisher, but it's tough to get past stronger players. How can I get past stronger players into the paint? Well, easy, you can get stronger. Check out the Position of Power or Ultimate Athlete Program at hoophandbook.com or the Complete Athletic Package, which is a combination of both of those programs and two other off-court training programs. Beast 45555. So I'm thinking about buying a handbook, wondering what's the difference between a handbook, watching uh, breakdown vids, well, differences that I actually sequence it and make it into an actual program. So it's different than me just saying, Watch this video, watch this video, watch this video. It's an actual program in sequences. It has a sequence of days to follow, how much to do each drill, how many times to do each drill, how to do each drill, mental tips on the game, a background on the program, how you're going to do the program, why you're doing each thing, and a detailed explanation of every single move that goes deeper than what I just say in the videos. Kneecaps says, at any point during your come up, quote unquote, that I feel like I was wasting my efforts in chasing my hoop dreams. Well, first of all, kneecaps, I don't have any hoop dreams. I have things that I want to accomplish, and then I work to get them done. I don't really do hoop dreams. I don't really like that term, really. And did I ever feel like I was wasting my efforts? No. Because even if you put a whole bunch of effort into trying to do something, let's say you put a whole bunch of effort in trying to be 
anything. Let's say you want to become a doctor, you want to become a surgeon, you put a whole bunch of effort and hard work into it, you dedicate yourself to it, and for whatever reason you come up short of reaching that goal, even if you don't reach that goal, the hard work and dedication that you put into that is becomes part of your character. It builds character. So then the next thing you do, you'll have that still that same character doesn't just go away because you didn't become a surgeon. That sticks with you through everything else that you do the rest of your life. So there is no wasted effort. There are no wasted days in life for anybody if you put in your full effort and your full mental capacity into what you're doing, no matter what it is. Alec Aponte says, my vids help a lot. Thanks a lot. And I'm real as fuck. He appreciates that. Thank you, Alex. I appreciate you. L.S. Payne says, I'm playing a better player. How do you find their weakness on defense and offense? Well, you got to play against them and see what they can do and what they can't do. And you can watch them, I guess, and see what they can do and what they can't do. So you got to be able to look at a player objectively, not just looking at what they're so good at, but look at them objectively. Just look at that person, person plainly, not looking like, oh, he's bad, let me find reasons why. Or he's good, let me find reasons why. Just look at him as he is, and you'll be able to see what a player can do, what a player can't do. And there's almost no player who has no weaknesses. The only one I could think of would be, right now, LeBron James. Johnny Adane says, how long will it take a person to dunk a basketball because I buy something that will help me dunk, but it did not get me to dunk a basketball? Well, Johnny, that depends on what it is you bought. <laughs> it also depends on your baseline level, which means where you are before you actually start trying to dunk and what you're actually doing while trying to dunk. What are you eating? How are you sleeping? What are your rest periods like? How are you recovering? What kind of training are you doing? What is the training having you do? Are you actually following the training? And I have no idea what it is you bought, but if you get the jump manual, joyalday.com slash jump, they guarantee 10 inches in 12 weeks. So I know you're not talking about the jump manual. And whatever you do get, if you do get the jump manual, follow the fucking instructions and you won't have that problem. Robbie DX7 says, can I bring back the signed Dre Baldwin series? That's a very good question, Robbie. I got something coming for that, but I can't talk about it yet. Good question, though. It's the best question so far. Sue Terrence says, oh, I went to PSU, Penn State University. Yes, I did, but I went to the Altoona campus for basketball. I sue Yen Olger says, Dre, what's up? Keep up the good work. I was wondering who you think is going to win, the Spurs or the Heat? Be straight up. Well, he posted this question five days ago. So, Sue Yen, you probably since then have seen my NBA Finals preview video, which came out two days before the final started. So I can't make a prediction after the series already begins. So today's Friday, the series started on Thursday. So even if I hadn't made a prediction, I can't make one now because the series already started. But if you go watch that video, it is already out. NBA Finals prediction, I picked the Miami Heat in five. In five. And it's a prediction, so I'm not changing it. Ahmed Masu says, do you believe that Miami Heat are an all-time great team like the Celtics or the Bulls or Kobe and Shaq Lakers? I believe they will be an all-time great team if they're able to complete the three-peat. They went to the finals four years straight. Celtics was the last team to do that in the 80s, and they went three titles in a row, and they are definitely three titles in a row, you're a dynasty. Celtics did it, the Bill Russell Celtics, not the Bird Celtics. Jordan's Bulls did it twice, which was amazing, and then Kobe and Shaq did it. Nobody else did three in a row, so yes, they are all-time great if they do that. Zach Rabatasio says, first of all, I think you're First off, I think your vids are awesome. Like his question is, how do you have time to go to the gym and make videos every day, especially with other things in life such as work? Don't feel obligated to share any personal information, just wondering. And sorry if this question was answered in the past. Right, well, first of all, this question has been answered in the past many times, but that's okay. I know a lot of y'all don't can't keep up with all the content I put out. And he says, how do I have time to go to the gym and make videos almost every day? Well, I don't make videos almost every day. I make videos every day. There is no almost, so take that almost out. I post content every single day to YouTube. I got over 3,000 videos here. It'll be over 4,000 very soon. Before the end of the year, it'll be over 4,000. And how do I make, how do I have time? Well, it's 24 hours in a day. People ask these questions like, how does somebody have time to do this and this and this? You know anybody who does a whole lot more than you or accomplishes more than you or gets more done than you and they seem to always be doing something different more than you? And I'm not talking about me and I'm not necessarily talking about you personally, Zach. But any of you, if you know somebody who does more than you, or you know of somebody who seems to be doing more things than you're doing, they're using their 24 hours in a different way than you are. So what you really need to do is look at how you're using your 24 hours, figure out where you're wasting time, because time is the only thing you really got in life. Because when your time's up, your time's up, and it's over. Your phones, your sneakers, your clothes, your computers, all that shit will be gone. All you got is time. All that stuff can be replaced. We're going to have new phones two years from now. 
new computers, new sneakers, new clothes. Time cannot be renewed. So what you need to do is look at the way you're using your time and figure out how you can use it differently. Ramon's project says two questions, right? How do you bypass your defender to effectively drive and finish? And how do you create space between you and your defender to get off a nice shot? How do you do it? You work on your game till you get some skills and then you get in the game and you use them. That's how you do it. That's a very abstract question, my man. It's how do you get past the defender? You get past the defender by getting past him. There's a million different ways you can get past the defender. There's no one way that's guaranteed to work every time. And if it was that simple, a lot of people would be a lot better at basketball, right? And I think you already know that inherently, if you, even if you never thought of it directly. So you need to work on your game. I done put out 3,000 videos here. So you're asking me how can you get past the defender when I done already gave you 3,000 examples of how to do it. So now you need to watch the video, if you haven't already watched it, all the videos, and then go do the damn work. Hoopanbook.com if you need more instruction than what I just gave you. Tony562 says, Dre, do you be on that clash of clans? I have no idea what that is, so I guess the answer is no. John Globe says, during games, do I talk or do I just play? Do I think it's important to get into a player's head? Depends on the game situation. Sometimes I might start trash talking with somebody. Sometimes somebody might say something to me, and then I start talking to them. Sometimes I might start to talk. And sometimes nothing gets said at all. It just depends on the situation. It's not like you go into a game planning to trash talk for no reason. You don't go into a game planning to say nothing for no reason. Everybody has their own ways of doing things. JW says, I ever thought of becoming a basketball coach when I retire? Yeah, I've thought about it, but I'm probably not going to do that. I'm not interested in being a coach. Siobhan Daly says, what age did I dunk? Was it exciting? I was age 16, and of course it was exciting. Yes. GZ Dog PSN says, we, need, we want and need a Nick Young signature workout program. GZ don't hold your breath for a Nick Young signature workout program. John Jones says, this may have been answered already, but when you had jumpers knee, how did you recover from it? When I had jumpers knee, I sat out. This is in college. I sat out for like 10 days. I missed like five games of the season. And then I came back. It was fine. Basically, I got a little bit of treatment from the trainer who was, she didn't know what the fuck she was doing. All I did was put ice on it and not play basketball for 10 days. Then I came back and it felt fine. Champ the first, but that doesn't necessarily mean that's how yours are going to feel. It's my body is my body, your body is yours. But you could take ice and rest that will help it, but how's it going to feel once you start playing again? I don't know. Champ the first says, do I ever do games for cash, like in the movie White Man Can't Jump? Like, do I ever play people one-on-one -on -one for cash and stuff like that? I would, but very rare to find people who are willing to actually put money up on a game. T.O. Mass. Uh, he has a long question here. Let's see if we can summarize this. He said, he discovered Pro Shot Shooting System. I just did a video with them last week, a Q&A, two parts. And he started using Coach Hoover's secrets, secret components, and it worked. He got better at shooting. And he says, nobody could shoot the way he was. And the, and the coach was picking on his shot since it had so many things that the coach considered wrong, quote unquote. So what should he do? Follow the coach's information and mess up my shot totally. Keep in mind, he's a good shooter, very solid form. I think you should talk to your coach. I think you need to take everything that you just said to me and say it to your coach. Say, coach, I'm a pretty good shooter already, so I don't see a reason why I should change my form. Since I'm already making the shots and the goal is to make shots, why would you want me to change? That's what you should go say to the coach instead of saying it to me. Jim Polo Katza says, can I post a video showing my tattoos? I've done that already. So he said, if I haven't already, and I have. So next question. Jelani Clark says, do I take any supplement pills? Absolutely not. Actually, no, I do take fish oil every once in a while. I do take fish oil. That's a supplement. So yes, I take fish oil. Other than that, nothing. Martin Ivanov says, why do I wear knee pads or knee sleeves when I work out? Because I want to. What the hell kind of question is that? Cliff Stevens says, how do I deal with fatigue while playing? Sometimes I lose my legs whenever I play. I have to stop due to getting lazy and tired. Well, you need to get in shape, Cliff. Again, you already know that. What kind of question is that, Cliff? Anthony Aguilar says, do I ever take a break from basketball? Yeah, I'm on a break right now. I'm not playing basketball. I'm recording a Q&A video. <laughs> Tough Tandy says, can I give examples of whack questions? Yeah, Tandy, you just asked me one. Stefan Rysevich says, I was right about the NBA finalists in my season preview. Now, who do I think will win it? And again, refer back to my NBA Finals preview video, which came out this past Tuesday. Graham Hall says, what team do I think LeBron will sign with this offseason? 
And granted, first of all, he would have to become a free agent. He has an opt-out clause, so he would have to enact that clause first to, in order to even be in a situation where he would have to sign with someone. So let's see if he does that first. But assuming he does, he's staying in Miami. The annoying agent says, do I think Jeremy Lin could ever play as great as he did in New York again if he gets on a different team? I think uh, it's possible. Do I think it's probable? No. I can't believe it's Jay says, what do I think the Charlotte Hornets should do to improve this offseason? They should keep their draft pick and hope that they get lucky with whoever they choose is ready to play and can help their franchise. Chiz V says, what do I think makes a better player? Great one-on-one -on -one skills or great teamwork or teamwork and decent one-on-one? -on -one? I think a combination of all three. You can't just be, you don't want to just be a player who's, well, you could be a good role player if you get on the right team. You could have a long career being a role player. And if you're a great one-on-one -on -one player, I guess you could have a long career doing that too. But why not have a combination of both? So the answer is both. Top Not Sports says, thanks for answering my question. This is more of a comment. He feels like somebody should give me a shot in the D-League. He's a 6'4". You play one or two. You got strength. You got handle. You create your own shot. You could at least be a six-man. And basically he says... Uh, somebody should give me a shot. Well, thank you, Top Not Sports. I appreciate that. And referring back to the question that got asked of me earlier, we got something coming for that, but I can't talk about it yet, but it's coming. <coughs> CPT Bio says, what should I do if people constantly double team me so I can't pass and they foul me? Since we're playing an organized game, they don't call. Since it's not organized, they don't call fouls. Well, CPT, gets, get tougher. Get tougher. Use your body to protect yourself. Protect the ball with your elbows, not necessarily throw elbows, but protect the ball with your elbows. People will get up off you if you show that you're not afraid to be physical. If you show that them being physical gets you rattled or cause you to turn the ball over, then of course they're going to keep doing it. So what you need to do is toughen up, play more, use your body to protect yourself and the ball. Raymar Cruz says, how can I finish with contact as an undersized point guard? You finish the same way anybody else, play, anybody else does. It doesn't matter your size and your position. You just need to get in there and finish. If you're missing layups, that's your fault. So go play against the people that's causing you to miss layups as an undersized point guard or causing you to not be able to finish with contact. Keep playing against them until you start finishing with contact. And then when you see somebody who's your size who can finish with contact, go ask them how they did it, and they'll tell you. So now you got your answer. So that's it. That's all, everybody. Thank you for coming through with the questions. This is Q&A 22. Any questions you got that I didn't answer in this one, I'm not even going to tell you to go back to the old ones. I know y'all ain't fucking watching them. You can leave the comments in this one. Just make sure you don't respond to comments and nobody else asks NBA Finals Game 2 tomorrow night. You can hit me on Twitter, Dre, all day. That's the quickest way to get a response from me if you have a pressing question. Work on your game, DreAllDay.com. George, from New York.